Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is a custom VBA workshop and in today's workshop I'm going to be showing you how to take a particular column, split that into many worksheets based off the data in the column. So for example, what I have here is I have City of Toronto PCART data that I pulled online and you'll notice that we have this division column. and for example, you may, for example, want to split this data by division so that different divisions could look at their, their P card transactions, their purchase card transactions, and get a better understanding of it. And as well, you might want to split it for confidentiality reasons. But you'll notice that it will take a really long time to manually do this. So is there a way we can do it in VBA? And the answer is yes. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos, I recommend that you check them out. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new module. So hopefully this looks familiar to everybody. Okay, and we are going to call this, let's create a new subroutine. Let's just call it split. Okay, so there's a couple things that I want to keep track of. I want to keep track of the work booklet that I'm on. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this dim w s workbook as a string and go dim uh, ws s uh, sh as string so this will tell me that this is the workbook light and this is the worksheet that i have on so it's going to be i'm going to put ws wb is equal to active workbook dot name i'm going to put ws wh as active sh sheet Dot name and this just helps me go back return back to the original so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an input box that will ask me what column or ask the user what column they want to split by so I'm going to call this V column okay and then I'm going to be using an input box I'm going to be using oh, okay input box and it's asked me for a prompt, and I'm going to call it please indicate which column, i.e., A, B, C, etc., etc. You split by. Right, I'm just going to close that off here. And I'm going to call this column selection. Okay. Next thing I do is I'm going to copy the column that's selected. So I'm going to go columns, V column. Obviously, you can throw in some air checks and to make sure that they're selecting actually a column. Uh, or you can make it a more sophisticated tool. Uh, but this serves the purpose. So here we're going to copy. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to add a sheet. And what I need to do is I need to figure out what the unique divisions are in this listing. So the way I like to do it is I do sheets, add a sheet, I just copy the column, add a sheet, and then I'll go active sheet dot name is equal to summary. And then I'm just gonna simply paste the data here. And then I'm gonna go columns a dot remove duplicates and I tell them that it's columns one that we're looking at header equals excel yes since there is a header in this particular case oh um oh got the colon here there you go oh next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna figure out how many how many um different options are gonna be so i'm gonna use I'm going to create a counter. So I'm going to go V counter. So basically, we're going to loop through this. I'm going to go range A and rows dot count, which will bring me to the bottom. Then I'll go and XL up, which will bring me to the last row. And I'll find out what row number that is. So that'll tell me how many different options there are. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loop. I'm going to go for I is equal to 2 to V counter. 
which is basically the number of options there are. And I'm going to determine what my filter is. I'm going to call it V filter. I'm going to go sheets, pull from the summary, cells I, which is the current row I'm going to be on, one, which is the first column, which is column A, which is where all my uh, different options are. And I'm going to go sheets. I'm going to do WS inch, which is going to return me back to my original sheet. And then I'm going to go active sheet dot columns dot auto filter right and now I need to tell it what field to look at so I do it would be in this case the first first field because I'm using column a but I don't know what column that is or what usually have to provide a number here so I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a clever looks looks like I'm typing in columns a lot but essentially what I'm doing is I'm pulling the column name from the column that column number from the column name that I selected and then the criteria one, which is the first criteria, is going to be based off of the V filter. Okay, it doesn't like that because I forgot semicolon. Common thing that I forget. Cell, then I'm going to copy all the cells. So it's going to copy all the cells that are currently showing after I've applied the filter. I'm going to add a new workbook. Right, and then what I'm going to do here is I am then going to I should, what I should do before is I have all my data in I have my workbook here. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this employee. I'm going to call this split results. I could have created the folder in VBA, but it's just easier this way if I was going to do it in this particular scenario, just in case. Okay, and next thing I am going to do is I'm going to paste, paste all the data. So I'm gonna call it range A1 dot paste special, which is gonna paste everything I've copied. And then because I know there's a chance that there could be a blank, right? There's no division listed. I'm gonna go V filter not equal to blank then what I want to happen is I want active workbook dot save as this workbook dot path which is where I'm currently doing my code and I'm gonna save it to split the split folder and V I'm gonna name it V filter else if so else there's only one other option which is it's gonna be there's gonna be no name there. I'm gonna save this as empty. You know, and if the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this workbook light, close, and then I'm going to return back to the original workbook I had, which is WB. Oh, W S W B. Obviously, you can name it whatever you want. And then here, I'm going to go next I. And then once I'm done complete that, I'm going to delete the summary. So I'm going to run through this, run through the code, some of the code, and then I'm going to let it complete. So here, it's saved the name of the workbook lets. So there you go, it saved the name of the sheet. It's gonna pop up this box. I'm gonna say, give it an indication of column A. So you'll see V column is equal to that. It's gonna copy the first column. It's gonna add in a new sheet. Sometimes it takes, I don't know why it takes a while when you go one step at a time, but it does. And then I'm gonna rename that sheet. So you'll see right there, I'm gonna paste it. And then I'm gonna remove duplicates. You'll see that there's a blank here, so that's why I've done that blank indication. Then V counter, you'll see that there are 49 options here. You'll see that there's 48 cells plus one blank, which gives you 49. I'm gonna start the second row and go down to 49. Now V filter is equal to parks, forestry, and recreation. I'm going back to my original sheet. I'm gonna filter based off that parks, parks, forestry, and recreation. I'm gonna copy all the data. I'm going to create a new workbooklet. 
again, it takes a little while when you're running one line at a time. When you're running your VBA, it's going to be slightly quicker. So we'll just give that a second. Perfect. So now it's created the new workbook light. I'm going to paste it. It's going to paste all the data that's filtered. So you'll notice it only uh, pasted the filter data. Then here, it's going to, obviously, the name's not blank. So it's going to, okay, doesn't like this portion. Oh, okay. It's because I called it, it's actually called split results. I'm going to rename this. That's why maybe I should create the folder name, but that's okay. Another time. So then here, now it's back to the original workbook light. And then it's back to the original worksheet. It's going to keep flowing through. I'm going to let it run. And you'll see the beauty and the magic and the amount of time that you've saved. It's going to be less error prone. It's going to be better. It's going to be faster. It's going to be more flexible. Obviously, you can keep building and improving upon this code. Uh, but hopefully, you'll learn something today uh, in this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I spend quite a bit of time researching and preparing and trying to figure out what's interesting to, to my audience. Uh, so if you do find this interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it uh, with whoever you think would make it be useful as well. And uh, don't forget to watch my other videos, either on VBA or the number of other topics that I do cover uh, on this channel. So you can see it in action here. You'll see here, it took us 10 minutes. If you were to write it without doing the video, it would probably take you three minutes to, to write it. And you'll see here it's doing pretty much all of them in like a span of two minutes or so. So it's quite quick. And it's done, already done 40 items. So imagine having to copy and paste 40 filters and paste into a new work client, name it appropriately. Etc. Etc. You can see all these different divisions that you can do and send it out, and obviously you can do some other cool stuff as well. And now you're back here, and obviously you could put a message box at the end. Uh, but that's essentially it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.